she is affectionately known, has grown older now. She turned 98 in February, but she remains strong with a razor-sharp mind and humor. I'm feeling 75% strong. Yeah. 25% is old age. Yeah. I can't help her. Mambek is still very active in community development projects. She set aside the part of her family house for a sewing project which helps local women. Mambek is also the brains behind this Kanyisa beadwork project located in her village. She sees self-help projects as a means towards social and economic advancement. Mambeki also played a significant role in the establishment of a local high school named after her and has facilitated donations of books for its library. She is highly respected here for her tireless efforts to improve the quality of life of the villagers. A veteran of the liberation struggle in her own right, Mambeki is however reluctant to express her true impressions of the 20 years of democracy. It's a difficult question. It's a difficult question. It's not easy to reply to. It isn't. Mm. Why is that the case? Pardon? Why, why is, that, is that the case? Why is it difficult to, to answer that question? Well, you know, there are many reasons. Another reason is, for instance, our ANC. We are all people. Mm. We've come a long way with the ANC. We have seen changes, either for the good or for the bad. That's why it's difficult to reply. Right, right. But are you happy with our country right now? Right. I'd rather not reply to that. Right, right. But when you see, like, you go to town, you see people in town, uh, you hear people talking about uh, their conditions, their situations, uh, issues of unemployment and so on. How does that make you feel? Well, replying, I say it's going to be difficult for me because I have lived through a number of governments. So there's a good in one government and there's a, something wrong with the same government. So I cannot have a direct reply. But she does say that education is one area where the country should have achieved much more than it has over the last 20 years. The type of a student we are producing, he is only prepared to go and work for a wage. He is not prepared to work for himself. That's why it's going to be, our development is going to be very slow. Personally, I find fault with the type of education. She also argues very strongly that the current electoral system is failing democracy. She says it must be changed to allow citizens to vote for their candidates to represent them in parliament. It's a big thing. You, we make a cross on our ballot paper. We are a party. We are not representing. We are not representing. We are not choosing a person. We're choosing something that's vague. What is a party? How are you going to explain to me a grassroots woman that I'm represented? Mambegi insists that the party system is open to abuse and manipulation. And I don't know whom they'll choose to represent me. They'll choose, they may choose their own friends, they may choose their own relatives. I have no power over that. That's one thing personally I still do not feel happy about is the electoral system. People are not represented. The younger generation can learn much more from her humility and unwavering dedication to making a difference in one's community. Tammy Dixon, SABC News, Dukua in the Eastern Cape.